So when you look at your screen, you see um, colors and you see images, and this is a, gives a good ex experience for your work on the computer. But how are these colors and these images uh, generated? Well, you probably heard of the word pixels. Pixels are uh, really small parts of your screen, and a pixel, a pixel um, produces uh, three bytes of information. Um, one byte for each color value. And so when in physics and we have a color um, a color wheel, we, we have three primary colors. And the three primary colors are uh, red, green, and blue. And we call that the RGB value. And so each value, each channel, the red channel, the green channel, the blue channel, can be uh, kind of turned up, if you will, to be maximum or to be completely turned off. And each of these uh, channels, red, green, and blue, um, is a byte of information, which you remember is 8 bits. So when I have red, and maybe I should do this kind of, uh, kind of with actual colors here, if I have red, um, there's 8 bits for um, the, the, because the machine or the, the computer deals with machine code or binary. So um, technically behind the scenes, each uh, the, the amount of red that's going to be produced from the pixel is going to be given by a binary number. What's the most amount of red you could possibly have in that pixel? Um, well, all of these would be ones, right? And we've talked about this several times that decimal version would be 255. If we took that binary number and we put it in decimal form, it would be 255. 255 is the maximum amount of red that you could have a pixel produce. Um, and then we have the green channel. And on the green channel, uh, of course, we have 8 bits of information. Again, 1 byte of information. And the maximum amount that we could have of, in a byte of information is, of course, all 1s. And that would mean 255. So we could turn the green from 0 all the way up to 255. And then, of course, we have the blue channel, RGB. We have the blue channel, and there's another byte of information, 8 bits. And we could turn that all on, and we could have turn the blue from 0 up to 255. You know, if it's all off, I could have 8 bits of information, but I could turn it all off, and it would be all zeros then I'd have zero blue component in coming out of the pixel. And if you did that, then that would actually mean yellow, because you'd have full red, full green, and the intersection there is yellow. So 255 red, 255 green, and zero blue would mean you would have a, a yellow color. And of course, we don't have to have zero or 255. We can change this binary number all up and have a, a different amounts of red and green and blue that we mix together to get any color we want on the entire um, spectrum. So in programming a lot of times you'll see um, RGB and then you'll have um, parentheses and then you'll have um, you'll actually have decibel numbers which is nice for us because that's what we kind of want to deal with. It, that's telling the computer to get the binary code for that but but we don't have to worry about that we're just dealing with the the uh, um, actual uh, decimal numbers here. So um, I might see um, 255 comma 0 comma 0. Well what color is that? Well it's RGB, RGB and the red is completely turned on, the green and the blue are both turned off. So that would be uh, a red color. I could have RGB 0, 255, 0, and that would be green. I could have RGB uh, 0, 0, 255, and of course that would be blue. And then I could have RGB um, 0, 255, 255, and that would be um, that the green's turned on, the blue's turned on, but the red's completely turned off. The blue and the green are both turned on, so that would actually be this color right here, and we call it cyan. Okay, so RGB values, I can actually 
put decimal numbers in there. But one thing uh, you might have noticed, and if you've done anything with HTML, and later we're going to do stuff with HTML, then, then you'll notice this too. We can specify a color with, this, with its hex, uh, hexadecimal code. Hexadecimal code. Okay, so um, how do I do that? Well, let me erase some stuff here. Um, By the way, what would uh, what would RGB 255, 255, 255 mean if they're all turned on? All three of the primary colors are turned on. What would what would that be? Well, of course, that would actually be white. We'd get the white color 255, 255, 255. Okay. Um, so uh, what I want to do then is uh, let's look at um, Let's, let's convert 255 to hexadecimal. If you remember how to do that, uh, 255, you know, if, if I have binary, I have my 8 bits, and I got 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Now remember, to convert from binary directly to hexadecimal, it's easy to do. We can divide it up into 4 bit segments. And uh, this is, you know, 1, 2, 4, 8, and 1, 2, 4, 8. So um, my first digit in hexadecimal, so I have a digit here, I have a digit here for hexadecimal. Well, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 in hexadecimal is an F. And this would be 15 also, so it's also an F. So a 255 decimal is FF in hexadecimal. And that's as high as we can go. A 255 is as high as we can go in a, eight, in a, in a byte, right? 8 bits. FF is high as we could go hexadecimal. So if I had um, like and the hexadecimal code usually has a, like a pound sign before it or a hashtag I guess you would think of it as. And if I did hashtag FF 0, 0, 0, 0 that would actually be red. Hashtag 0, 0, FF 0, 0 would be green. Hashtag zero 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 FF would be um, would be blue. Okay, and so I can I can use these. And if you look up a color chart, look up just go look up a color chart online, hexadecimal color chart. You're you're generally going to see color codes like these, and you can use these in HTML. You can say font color equals and then and then hashtag code, and this is a hexadecimal code for um, that particular uh, color. Okay, um, so let's, uh, let me see what I can do here. Yeah, that's what I need to do to get my eraser bigger. Okay, so I'm going to erase this again. And uh, let's, let's get an RGB and let's figure out what it is um, with a hexadecimal uh, value. So let's... Let's say we have RGB um, 255, 176,65. There's my RGB in decimal format. And I want to know what's the hashtag code for that. What's the hexadecimal value for that if I want to use it in HTML? Okay, so um, while well, your first one, 255, um, we know that that can be... Um, converted to uh, FF. And how do we know that? Let's just let's just review this again. So, so um, I want to put two fifty five, and I want to put it in a hexadecimal. So, remember, we have we're only going to have two digits here, and the first one's going to be one, and the second one's going to be sixteen. And so, how many times is uh, two fifty five um, going to sixteen? Well, it goes uh, 15 times, and 15 times 16 is 240, and uh, 240, um, and 15 times, by the way, is, is an F, right? It's an F. And so then 16 times 15 is 240, 240 from 255 is 15, and that would be 15 groups of one, so that's also an F. So I'm going to have hashtag 
FF is 255. Okay, what about 176? So I got 16 and I got 1. 16 goes into 176, um, actually 11 times, goes in perfect. It goes in 11 times. 11 times 16 is 166. Well, what is 11? 11 is a B, right? 10, remember we start A is 10. So B is 11, and then I have nothing left over, so that's a 0. So 176 decimal is B O in hexadecimal. Okay, what's 65? I got 16 and I got 1. 16 goes into 65 four times. 16 times 4 is 64. And then I'd have one left over, so I'd have a 1 in the 1 spot. So 41. Okay, so RGB 255, 176, 65. Um, would be the same color in HTML if I put hashtag FFBO41. All right. I'm not sure how well this is coming across. Let's do it again. RGB, let's do a different one. Let's do 143, uh, 234. You know, what color would that be? And what would, it, what would its hashtag symbol be in hexadecimal code? Okay, so I got 16 and 1. And I got 16 and 1. And I got 16 and 1. Let's see what this hashtag code is. So for the red, I got 143 for the red. And uh, um, 16 would go into 143 uh, eight times. And you can do the math on that, eight times. And I would get a remainder of 15. So uh, what's 15? Well, 15 is the biggest digit we can have. It's an F. So 143 in decimal corresponds to 8F in hexadecimal. 200, I got 16 into 200 actually goes 12 times. So what's a 12? That's an A, B, C. And I'd have a remainder of 8. There's my remainder of 8. I got 8 ones. And then 16 goes into 34, that one we can do in our head, that goes in twice. And then I'd have 32 with a remainder um, a remainder of 2, so I'd have two ones. So I have hashtag 8FC822, that's the, that's the hexadecimal code for RGB 143234. I don't actually know what color that is, but... Um, it, it, it has a lot more green than anything, right? And then there's uh, quite a bit of red in there, okay? So a lot of green, uh, a little bit of red, that would probably make it kind of a yellowish green, and there's just not much blue in there. So I'm, I'm guessing uh, kind of a yellowish green kind of, a, kind of a color. And you could go and actually just in a Google, I bet you could probably just type in that hexadecimal code right there, and it would probably even show you the color. So you could you could try that.